Welcome to this presentation of the Caldera RIP solution. This is a technical overview of the main RIP features. Interface Overview Our RIP solutions are offering a very graphical and intuitive interface. The software is split under two main windows, an application window with the setup tools and devices, and an image window containing multiple tabs to facilitate organization. For ease of visibility, you can customize the printer's icons according to the type of installed printer. You can change the icon's color as well. For example, let's put it in green. In the images bar, create as many tabs as you want in order to organize your production. How to import a file. To import a file, you will need to go to the tab you would like to load them into. Drop the Fileman icon to the desktop. Select the files you want to import and click Open. The file will then be ripped as a lower resolution file for preview and then imported inside the software. This operation is multitasking. You can close the file manager and the files will continue to be imported into the background. Print the file. If you want to print a file, you will need to drag and drop it onto the printer icon. Select the number of copies, the resolution, the roll size, the material, the color mode, and the action to be performed. Then click on the print button and the file will be processed or printed. You are able to check the status of the ripping or printing by going to the spooler. As you can see here, the file is processing. Hot folders. Files can also be imported into the Caldera software using a hot folder. You can create as many hot folders as you want to organize and facilitate automation. Here we will drop several files into the hot folder, which has been pre-configured to open the file in the tab Demo inside of the software. Preview. Now let's see how to review a file in high resolution. It is very simple. Just drop the file on the desktop. You can then use the mouse to zoom in, zoom out, or move into the file. If you want to crop an area, you will need to select the crop tool on the left hand side. Select the desired piece and choose copy. This piece will be exported here as a new file in the current tab and will be ready to be printed. Layout. If you wish to do advanced printing, you will need to drop the file to the printer and open the layout window. This layout window allows you to choose the scale and modify the file. You can enter a scaling factor or graphically size the file. Center the image on the substrate. Mirror the file for backlit printing or set it back to a 1 to 1 scale. Crop marks. You can also easily add crop marks to your file as well as basic annotations. The Caldera software has the unique ability to zoom inside the preview to ensure that you have selected the appropriate option. Step and repeat. Files can also be repeated along the page by going on the Step and Repeat tab. Choose the number of copies and the margin between each. Changing the scale will immediately change the scale of all repeated elements as well. You can see here that the crop marks are applied to all the repeated images. Contour nesting plus cutting. The software also has the ability to support contour cutting. A file containing a contour shape will appear in the image bar with a cutter icon. If you drop one of those files into the printing window and enable the cutting, you will see the cut shape shown in red. We are going to see now how to nest this sticker with regards to its cut contour. Go again to the step and repeat tab, 
but this time select the contour option. Choose the number of copies and the margin between each entity and press enter. As you can see, the images have been nested according to the cut contour instead of the document frame contour. It allows you to save substrate. Now, set the cut by going in the cutting tab. Choose the cutter you want to use. Caldera will then add the registration marks and the barcodes necessary to track your job according to the chosen device. The file is ready to be printed. Spot Color Management Caldera also has unique color management tools that include spot color management and Pantone libraries. Drag and drop an image containing spot colors into the print module. Go to the spot color management icon. By going to the visual tab, you are able to locate the colors inside the file by selecting the spot color name from the list. By browsing at the details tab, you are able to see the desired color and the achievable color within the printer's color gamut according to the different rendering intents. You can also try to decrease the delta E by printing your own color book. First, select the targeted spot color in the list. Then, set up the numbered of print swatches by choosing the range, the samples per direction, the ink combinations and the ink mixing. Once you set it up, print the color book and select the color you want. Manually type the corresponding output values. You can now save this color in your own CMYK library to automatically print this new color each time it is needed. Printing white and special inks. For printers supporting white, Caldera offers a full white ink workflow by using the white tab. By enabling the separation, Caldera will detect the way the file has been built. In our example here, the file contains a white spot color and you can easily colorize the white areas and hide the underneath image to see all the elements that will be printed in white. Auto nesting. If you want to print multiple files in the same row, you can drop the files to the printer and instead of clicking print, you will click nest. Set your file as needed. Select the number of copies and hit print. Then we can take another file and change it to 3 copies or another file and change it to 5 copies. As you can see here, the file is processing. Compose Caldera also offers a very unique layout tool enabling multiple file nesting and several more options. To use this tool, open the Compose window from the application bar. First, select your printer and proper media size. Drop your elements onto the page. By pressing down the control button, you can decide how many items you want. By pushing the nesting option, Caldera will automate the placement of each image and will automatically adapt the size of the page. If you want to save more media, push the contour nesting button to organize images according to their cut contour. The document is now ready to be printed. Tiling If you need to tile a file, you can open the tiling application. Tiling offers a very flexible and advanced way to optimize tiles. To do this, you will need to drop a file into the tiling module. You can adjust the opacity to get more visibility. Define scaling, define your media size, and let the software calculate the ideal number of tiles while also providing the media usage for this tile. You can also shape the tiles by manual adjustments. Select tiles and merge them together. Split one tile horizontally. Split another vertically. To add overlaps, select the tiles you want, the side and the overlap value. The overlap area will show up in red. 
The tiling module of Caldera also offers the ability to add grommets. Open the grommets editor and select the side of the document you want grommets. Set the diameter, the offset, and the maximum space between each grommet. Then click on Create to automatically place the grommets all around the document. Tiling has the unique feature to load and save templates. So you can reload a tiling sample which contains a predefined set of tiles with a specified number of tiles, overlap, and grommets. You can also generate a PDF assembly guide. Once your document is ready, click on Create to export the file to the image bar. You can display all the tiles in the image bar by clicking the plus icon. To print the tiles, drag and drop the file onto the printer. Automation Caldera also offers a variety of automation. Earlier, we used the hot folder option to import files into the image bar. Here we have linked the hot folder to an automation process that will tile and nest the jobs according to a tiling template. Now we are copying some files onto the linked hot folder. All of those files will now be processed, loaded inside the image bar, and sent to the print spooler all nested together. As you can see, the auto nest will fill itself with all the desired files. Easy Media Caldera also offers the ability to profile media in a very easy and intuitive way. The application is wizard-based and guides you through all the steps necessary for profile creation. You are able to store as many medias as you need and as many combinations of resolutions and color modes. Profiling can easily be done by following the wizard, printing the targets, and measuring them. Here, setting the curves will ensure optimal usage of light and dark ink transitions, therefore allowing you to decide where to use light inks to ensure optimal output. At every step of the profile creation, you can decide to print a test ink chart to verify your curves. You can minimize your ink consumption and avoid poor effects on your prints by tweaking the linearization curves. This can easily be done by moving the ink limit vector in the diagram. Then, the correction curves are computed by the rip. A specific dynamic target will allow you to set up your global ink limit. Caldera integrates the latest X-Rite technology, using the X-Rite i1 Prism engine to ensure state-of-the-art color management. At the end of the profiling process, Caldera offers an advanced color gamut viewer, allowing you to see the shape of your gamut. Advanced color analysis shows you how well you would be able to reproduce colors by comparing the current profile with the standard profile, for example. Finally, you can also control the compliance with standards, such as PSO, PSD, or G7, by printing a new target or by using the current profile as a simulation. This concludes our Caldera demonstration. Thank you very much for your attention.